right, all right. Let's see if this is working. Is this working, everybody? What's up? Good morning, everybody. Okay, I may be starting over again immediately if this isn't working on um, on uh, YouTube. Yeah, it's bad. All right, please use... Me and Amy just were arguing about this. I wanted to just do it on YouTube because I'm so... I, I hate that this stream dropped yesterday. Um, all right, bad video settings. Please use keyframe frequency of four seconds or less current. Keyframes are not being sent into enough, which is cause buffering. Okay, how do I how do I fix this, guys? No, it's gonna drop. It dropped yesterday, and, and we lost everybody that was hanging out. Uh, does anyone know how to fix this? Anybody? It's not working. I'm gonna get off uh, Vimeo. Hey, Vimeo and my website. We're gonna go to YouTube now for a bit until this gets fixed. Because I really, really don't want to do another hour and a half and have it um, be unwatchable during the stream. Uh, I really want to... Um, no, it stopped. No, yesterday, if you look at the graph, it was just 1,100 people to 200. And then it just... We lost everybody. So the deal is I'm going to restart it right now. Uh, I, I want to have tons and tons of awesome... Good vibes and uh, loyalty to Vimeo for, for being there when... Uh, YouTube wasn't, but right now Vimeo is uh, absolutely dropping all my streams at my website and uh, Twitch. So we're just going to go to YouTube. So I'm going to start again in uh, two minutes. I'll see you guys very soon. I feel like we're good. Are we good? Is everybody here? We got to write a song today, everybody. And I put on the Unbearables app is working. I put the little code in the bottom right. 
It says unbearablesapp.com. We're still making it bigger and better and awesome, but it's the coolest part about it is you can chat in the YouTube thing or here. But the cool thing about this app is you can, um, it goes all day and night. So you can always just like check in and say what's up. Yo, see, I just, I just typed, yo, unbearablesapp.com. How great is that? And the, uh, the shop is up and running, unbearableshop.com or unbearable store. Brandon's hilarious. He, uh, he saw that I didn't know what, which one it was yesterday. So he got the other address so that, uh, so that we have both because, uh, I think he knows I'm kind of an airhead sometimes when it comes to remembering websites. Oh, we got some, uh, feed the bear PayPal's. All right. First one comes in from Catherine. PayPal.me slash feed the bear. We got to write a song today. I'm doing Crowder today. I got to write a, I want to write a love song between. Oh, I don't, I don't even want to talk about it yet. All right. Hey, Owen, Katie Bear here. Just wanted to tell you that the bear is to follow Seth's, Seth Simpson 208 on Instagram. I learned about Seth after Joe Rogan mentioned him a while back. He operates a dog training facility in Idaho. He has a pet coyote named Kate. That's cool. Uh, oh, the crazy thing is he hunts coyotes mostly due to overpopulation in the area and the fact that they destroy livestock. Yeah, coyotes are are really hard to hard to hard to tame. It's like every time you kill them, they just make more of them. But somehow they don't go after Kate. And some photos he snuggles. Oh yeah, so check out this person. Not a trace of. Uh, he's totally he totally beat a bear. Not a trace in him. Oh, he's talking about Seth. Yeah, Seth Simpson 208 on Instagram. Thank you, Katie. Appreciate that. This is from James Big Bear. I have a song request if you're up for it. I've always wanted the song Wanted Dead or Alive. I can check that out. Because I'm a straight white guy. Oh, life's wild. I'm wanted gay. Oh, you have a oh, you have a, a whole parody. I'll try and get to this, bud. A wanted gay or left wing. That's funny. It's all the same. Only the labels change every day. It seems we're slipping away in another place where the left wing is so bold. I'd give my arm just to be left alone. I'm a straight guy on this life's a wild ride. Dude, this is funny. I'm going to do this right now. That's, that's, that's way worth it. That's insanely funny. I'll upload this to Vimeo after. I want to keep Vimeo in the loop because I will fix the streaming problem. I'm not going to just do uh, YouTube, but today I'm just doing YouTube because yesterday it was really, really annoying when uh, we had this awesome crew of people and then it just, uh, and then it just went away. Okay. I'm going to uh, play this dude's song because it's hysterical. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste it so I can do it. All right, hang on. Where are the lyrics? It's all the same. Only the labels change, dude. That's so funny. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Oh shit! Stop. I was playing songs yesterday. Cancel, cancel. I guess you guys are gonna listen to a little bit of a song here while I hit cancel 8,000 times on iTunes. Actually, let's listen to a second, this is pretty. I was just writing this yesterday. I didn't know what it was gonna be for though. I was thinking about doing uh, some sort of voice over it. Like cut up people saying stuff. If you eat the soy, your dick will fall right off. Yeah. I made this up yesterday. If you drink the soy, I have a soy. I do not drink the soy. I think I did it better later in it. Drink that soy, you will lose your penis and your balls. I wake up and I see a crowd of men 
who have been drinking that soy. And I know in their pantaloons they have a much smaller penis than they once had. I have a dream today. I have a dream that men will go back to eating meat and fucking women instead of watching pornography and playing the video games where they can pretend to be a hero. I have a dream that the soy lobby will stop turning our penises to powder. Wait, hang on one second. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get back to the land of meat and honey and salmon. And the soy lobby will not hold us down, sir. I have a dream today. The soybean is no friend to the heterosexual man. And it is not about the color of your skin but the content of your character, which will be changed by consuming too much soybeans. It will make you gay, sir. I have a dream today. My friend Jesse Jackson over here definitely will not rub my blood on himself after I am shot and then use my legacy for personal profit, will he, Jesse? You fucker. It's a pretty song. I'm glad this happened. This was very accidental. I was just trying to get out of iTunes and it wouldn't stop playing. I have a dream. I had a nightmare. start consuming soy products exclusively. They were easily manipulated by media because their testosterone could no longer fight that cursed bean in the pants. It's a pretty cool tune. I have a dream that I walk into a Whole Foods and I no longer see the soybean. I have a dream that became a nightmare. All right, cool. Did you guys enjoy that? you enjoy that I have a dream today because that's just if you just talk that way everybody if you are uh, if you just talk that way everyone thinks what you're saying is profound I will um uh, oh yeah Eric Nimmer's new special which by the way people love someone I saw this on uh, on Facebook check this out hang on my mom sent me that I'll get to that in a second just watch your special on Vimeo. All I can say is raise the price, my friend. It was fantastic. That was from Ron to Nimmer. So go to uh, hugepianist.com slash specials and uh, only five bucks. Check out Eric Nimmer slaying in Pittsburgh. I have a dream. I will read anything you guys say on this chat. No, let's do it on the new Unbearable chat. Or should I go, uh, do you want the YouTube one or the Unbearable Chat? Which one's better for you? I will read anything you say as Martin Luther King Jr. to that song. Some trolls in the Vimeo comments? Yeah, I just, all I did is I, I changed the settings so you can only comment if um, if you buy it. Because, yeah, there, there's been some monster trolls. Monster trolls against Nimmer, which, which you should take as a compliment. If people spend that much time hating you, it means you're on to something. I, I, after... Some really intense uh, soul searching. I, I realize that. <clears throat> All right. So I will read anything you say right here in this YouTube chat. If um, to that song, 
as Martin Luther King Jr. and I will make it sound profound. It's a way of speaking that makes everything sound awesome. I want Owen to show up on Theo Vaughn's podcast. Gang, gang. Love for Eric. Make babies. Do not pull out like a coward. Make your lover and ride them to glory. I have a dream that one day the Jews will not control the weather. Dude, that's hilarious. Poop is really pee-pee. Pants feet. I have a dream that all people will eat the meat. I have a dream that one day the birds and bees will come together and make me Japanese. Verizon, it pisses me off so bad. So I will turn you into a soydamite. I have a reoccurring dream that I'm a narcoleptic. Soy causes soft skull. Check your feed the bear, I gave you 20 bucks. I love to dress and drag and do hula. There will be a buzzer that goes off whenever someone says not all. I have a dream that all men will adore their wives, protect them, and protect their families. Lesbian Wolverine is back. I didn't plagiarize. We just had the same ideas. It was wor- it was coincidence. It was a coincidence that my doctorate was written with the same words as someone else. I have a dream that President Clinton will be a thing. I have a dream that I'm swimming in the rain and the rain does not stop. I have a dream today that Canada will join us in invading Mexico. I love Israel. What's with all the spam trolls? The Jews did 9-11. I have a dream that, <laughs> that people will stop stealing the bikes. Man, that is fucking funny as hell. The Jew stuff made me laugh so hard. I have a dream that the Jews will stop changing the weather. <laughs> I had a dream and then I woke up. We got to do that one more time. That, that just made me so happy. I feel like I'm a child again. Damn. I had a dream and then I woke up. I did not remember my dream. That happens to many of us. That is why I suggest... Oh, why did I stop? Oh, I just did this. This is the raw footage. That is why I suggest keeping a notepad by your bed. I had a dream. I know it involved a spider on some level. There was a spider in my dream. And I was nude in front of a classroom. I have a dream that the Jews will stop controlling the weather. I had a dream that I woke up with jello in my ass. Oh wait, there is jello in my ass. I had a dream within a dream within another dream. And it was the movie Inception. I had a dream that Ben Shapiro married a florist and never brought it up because Jews aren't as proud of florists as they are of doctors. Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? <laughs> Dolev is a communist. Change my mind. I had a dream that birch gold rained from the sky. I had a dream today that my sheets, my bowling branch sheets were bought by many more people with the promo code Shapiro. I have a dream I did. I had a dream that Scary Terry was chasing me. I have a dream that Mexicans and Chinese can do origami with construction paper together. I have a dream I did. I have a dream, but Facebook censored my dream. I had a dream that Ben Shapiro spoke this slow for a single day. I had a dream that Kyle tried to have sex with me. I had a dream that I was touched by Azur, a made-up gender. 
I had a dream, but Twitter jated it. I do not know what that word means, Josh Bear. I have a dream to be verified as Bericuous, the Puerto Rican bear. Welcome, Puerto Rican bear. I had a dream the Democrats were awake. Like Kanye West, I had a dream today. My dream may be wrong, but I did not lie. I had a dream that Owen liked my tweet. Well, Owen had a dream that he was not kicked off Twitter by communist asshole pedophiles. I have a dream that my growth spurt will hit and I will be taller than Owen, says Eric Nimmer. But that dream will never happen. Because you're as big as you're ever going to get. I had a dream of Hillary Clinton in prison uniform. I had a dream I did. I had a dream that Owen will rise again on Twitter and take Jack by the ear and say, listen to me, Jack. Ah, the David Hogg makes a rap record. I had a dream that I seized the means of production and it ended in the starvation and genocide of our people. I have a dream. All right, I got to start doing real stuff. Uh, all right. Oh, I was doing the wanted dead or alive. Cause it's all the same. This is uh, paypal.me slash feed the bear, or you can super chat me on YouTube. But this legend just wrote this one. <laughs> it's all, it's all, it's, it's all the same. Only the names change every day. Seems we're wasting. All right, I'll do it. I'll, I'll work on that in my off in the off season a little bit. I'll, I will play that for you. I got to get to more stuff. I can't just do that all day. I had a dream just really slowed down the molasses. But um, James, it's it's genius. I will get to it. I want to just do it justice. Because uh, uh, someone requested immigrant song. That's why I kept playing that one. I worked on that yesterday in, in the off season. Can I claim, this is from Matthew, can I claim Jeffo the Bear? Check, why don't they left emails? Growing up, my friends called me Jeffo, but my name is Matt. So I had no idea why I got nicknamed Jeffo. Finally, one day I'd had enough. Why the fuck does everyone call me Jeffo? The only time I've seen someone literally fall out of their seat and roll into the floor laughing was at that moment. But in the midst of laughter, laughter someone managed to shout out, Defo, your name is Defo. Does that story earn me bear phone? I sub PayPal 20 months uh, 20 a month, day one. Just haven't been able to make it uh, on live stream because I'm stuck in California wasteland. If not, then how can I earn bear phone? Yeah, you can definitely earn bear phone. <coughs> I was bear phoning yesterday. Where's the bear phone? It's out there. But also, if you just comment on YouTube, I try to respond to as many people as I can because I'm still haven't figured out how to write back to bear phone using my computer because it's so much faster than my thumbs. But bear phone is awesome, especially on the road, because you guys can text me when I'm doing shows and stuff. If you guys want beers and things like that. All right. Let's start talking about the current events. I have a dream today that one day we will rise up and claim victimhood from all the whites. And they will give us free money because they are eating soybeans. I have a dream today. Morning, Owen. I just sent you an audio recording for a song, We Are the Leftists. Feel free to listen, play, but keep in mind, I did it with my phone in 10 minutes after I put my daughter down for a nap. So sorry for the rush job. Hope you're having a great day. Where'd you send me the song? Well, I'll check out. You probably emailed me. Emailed, I'm guessing. Ben, hey, Big Bear. Been listening to you for months now. I graduated with my doctorate in pharmacy in a few weeks and was hoping to get verified as Maldication Bear. I like it. Welcome, Maldication Bear. Much love from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. All right, cool. So let's, uh, all right, so Vice is at it again. Vice News. And I say news like that because it's not real news. Our news is real. UNN, unbearablenewsnetwork.com. This is not news. This is called child abuse. And for those of you just listening to this, this is uh, Vice. It says, photos of the fabulous kids of RuPaul's drag convention. No, that's, that's insane. That's not good. Kids are not your, your social experiment. They're not, um, 
equipped to deal with those emotions and that amount of uh, just madness and self-indulgence. I made this because I wrote something on um, I wrote something on Facebook and Instagram, and I will read it for you right now. I have a dream today. <clears throat> it was in response to uh, <coughs> Childish Gambino, formerly known <coughs> as Donald Glover. He did a music video, and people kept asking me to comment on it, and I just don't really care that much <clears throat> about that type of shit. Like, whenever there's... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Whenever there's... Uh, I'll just read it off my stupid phone. I have something in my throat. I know I'm going to be coughing like that for quite a bit. Hmm, what happens? I have a dream today. <clears throat> Whenever people are like just obsessing about something stupid like that, I know it's uh, it's 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 kind of by design, and so I try not to just engage because a lot of times it's uh, engagement on any level is the whole point of any of this horse shit. But I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of explain something else about censorship and about art. So, this is the photo. I will put it up. I have a dream. Here is a, a, a screenshot from the music video that this, this young man put up. Okay, so it has 130 million views right now, and it's on the front page of YouTube. And that is a, a very disturbing image. That's a, 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 some, a man with a hood on being executed in the back of the head by a gun. That's the definition of everything that people claim to be censoring on the internet when in fact they're not. That is shocking. That is... Um, but that's the point. So that's what I, I, I wrote this. I wrote, this image is shocking, disturbing, disturbing, dehumanizing, and is the unquestionable definition of abusive material. It's also art and should not be censored. It's not up to me to understand intention of artist, just emotional response I feel, which in this case is profoundly negative. I would fight, to, I would fight in a war to allow this disgusting image to be displayed freely. Now, please remember that I'm using, now please remember that when I'm using words that you find offensive. There is very little that is more offensive than an execution reenactment. I know Facebook and YouTube will never stop with their contradictions and authoritarianism, but I'm reaching out to you, normal person, to understand this. Art needs to be allowed to exist regardless of your emotions. Much love. And when this post is censored, the irony won't bother me. It's expected. Hopefully, someone's mind is expanded before that happens, however. <clears throat> so, I wanted to take this as an example. I, I couldn't stand this shit. I can't stand this, this gratuitous uh, stuff. But at the same time, I might not be able to understand it. And that's the type of humility that you need to have as a human being when you're looking at art. There, there's, there's an argument that this could be a Mark Twain level message that I don't get and that, that a lot of people don't get. And even if he doesn't mean that, even if he means it straight up that the media is trying to distract people from the real white on black violence happening to black people, I still want it allowed. It's just wrong on every level. Black people are five times more likely to assault white people, even at 12% of the population. So black, white to black crime is, if you, if you adjust for um, population, you know, um, uh, white people are what, 55% of the population, something like that. Black people are 12% of the population. If you adjust for those statistics, a black man is 30 times more likely to assault a white man than a white man is to a black man. Okay, that's unarguable stats, okay? The media not only isn't trying to distract us from racial tensions in America, it's creating them. Larry Elder was just on Dave Rubin discussing that, 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 that the, the media 
literally is taking any incident out of context. Like, like if you take like that one, um, man, what's that guy's name? He got pulled over and a cop shot him and his chick was in the car and they were like, all he wanted to do was help kids and all this shit. He had an illegal gun in the car. He was like, okay, perfect example. There's a ton of uh, examples of um, like one of the heads of the NC, the NAACA, uh, NAACP accused a cop of saying like, you don't belong here, boy, like all this shit and all this racist stuff. And, and then the cop's camera proved that it was all a lie. And the, and the story immediately got silenced by the media. There's like so many times that uh, people accuse cops of being racist and then the, the cameras prove that that isn't possible and that will not get picked up by the media. So if that's truly what they're trying to say in this, it's propaganda. I still think it should be legal because I don't think people should have the right to determine what is art and what is propaganda because that will always come back at you. I believe that this should be allowed to be published. I think that's child abuse. I think the parents should be in jail. I think those kids should be taken from their parents. I think that our culture is insane for not calling this out nonstop. That like dressing your kid up as the other sex and having them parade around in front of very weird strangers is how you create broken people. So, but do I think Vice should not be allowed to publish this? No. The only thing I don't think should be allowed to be published is um, pornography. Child pornography, obviously, but any pornography uh, isn't, shouldn't be like in, in the mass media. I don't think that you should have your child possibly see that. You know, because someone said, what about Podesta with all the, the paintings of children on his walls? Gotta allow it. Pornography, no, but that, I also, I want to know who the creeps are. But think about this. Think about if you start censoring that, you start saying that, that you can't have the painting of children on, the, on your walls. Um, think about all that, like David, Michelangelo's David or whoever did David, like that's gone. That's broken into a million bits. You know, any, any uh, religious depictions of angels? Um, I mean, so much art is gone. And you can't allow the interpretation of the audience to determine whether or not you can have art. Like I went, I once went to this exhibit by Maplethorpe in the Getty Museum. And Maplethorpe is this raging gay guy who took a bunch of pictures of dicks. I'm dead serious. And so it's all these like artsy pictures of dicks in the Getty Museum. And I went there with my wife and her mom. And I thought it was funny, but... I don't consider it good or art or I think the, I think it's a, a perverted gay man trying to almost troll people by being, by like getting like these male models to let them take pictures of their dicks to make it look classy and artsy. But here's the thing. I don't have the right to tell him or others that that is an art because I don't possess like I'm not God. I'm human. I like there's a spark in artists that I don't understand and may not understand for 50 years. And just now I may un like there there's art so good that my brain isn't capable of understanding it. Now, there's tons that's horseshit. But we can't allow ourselves to determine what is good and what is bad because that's the end of art. That's the end of comedy, that's the end of free speech, that's the end of everything that we hold dear in the, in the Western world. And that's the thing, like the left, as horrifying as it is, we can't fight them with their own rules or they'll win. And also we'll lose everything we're fighting for. If we say we're gonna fight their attack on free speech by attacking their free speech, we're left with nothing, that, that's, that's, that's nothing. Then, then when you win, what do you have? You have a, a world that censors free speech. And this is the thing about power. Whatever you grant your leader, assume that the next leader will have the same power and assume the next leader is someone who hates you. The range of power is, um, I, I felt that way about Obama. I was telling that to my liberal friends back in the day when he was trying to ban guns and he was saying, well, um, 
It's so crazy. The liberals are so fucking psychotic that they, they even would be fine with Trump banning all guns. I, I don't understand it, frankly. But I'm like, okay, if, if you let him decide who's mentally stable and who should be allowed to have a gun, imagine your worst nightmare having the same power. And that would be you that would not be allowed to have a gun. And they're like, no one would ever do that. I'm like, and then Trump got elected. I'm like, see, do you see how you don't want these guys to have control over who gets the guns? And they're like, no one should have guns. And I'm like, oh, so you're just all fucking crazy. Like you're all just completely. So I made this, this joke. Oh, I gotta explain a little more. So this, 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 um, pose, all these, uh, woke retards are like, oh, that's, uh, that's the minstrel show pose. And then someone else is like, oh, that's the one, um, the horseman of the apocalypse. So why one horseman? What is that? A commentary on the wage gap that, uh, 77% of the fucking <laughs> horsemen of the apocalypse uh, didn't show up to, to protest. Like that doesn't make sense. But it might, I might just not get it. This also, it's it's not that profound. It's almost like random bullshit thrown together. A Madonna used to do the same thing. She just put religious uh, icons everywhere in her music video and just watch everyone spiral and wonder what it meant. And it doesn't mean anything. She's just an old whore who wanted to sell records. Uh, it's, it's literally it. Like modern art, most of it is so ugly. It's not art to me. To me, there's nothing beautiful about it. There's no form. There's no skill. If you just put a dot on a canvas and some soy boy buys it for $40 million, the art is the fact someone bought it. That's where the art is. That's the powerful, um, the powerful statement by Basquiat wasn't what he painted. It was that people valued it so much based on their own self-hatred and guilt. That's what modern art shows. And modern art is actually the absence of beauty, like uh, those big square buildings in, in Soviet or Eastern Bloc um, architecture. Like communist architecture is really ugly because what, what ugliness does is it, it keeps the individual down. Beauty inspires people. Beauty on any level, not just physical beauty, but beauty, uniqueness, uh, uh, the, the, the blade of grass sticking out through the, the cement in a desolate parking garage. Like that's, that's beautiful because it's uh, overcoming something, you know, like, it, like you just want to take a picture of it. You just want to like, when you see a flower sticking out through a sewer grate, you just want to take a picture of it because that's beautiful. Why is that beautiful? Because it's overcoming. It's, it's the individual against the, the sea of shit. And so authoritarians want to remove that. They want to keep that away from people's eyes. That's why modern art is so ugly because they want to remind people that they're nothing in an ugly world and they have nothing to live for. And that way the state can take away your parental rights. They can take away your right to defend yourself. They take your money, your property, all that stuff until you're nothing. You're just a cog in their machine. And ironically, not even ironically, I'm using the word wrong, but the people in charge of that society also lose everything. Don't forget Stalin... His son died in a gulag in Siberia because he was sent there from his dad, by his dad. Like he was electrocuted shitting himself on a fence. That's Stalin's legacy. You know, when, when Hitler first invaded Stalin, uh, Russia, Stalin was on a seven day vodka bender and couldn't be disturbed. Think about the hell that man was in. Like even the leadership are in hell in that cycle. There is no utopia. Like, they set it up where one group of people are extracting power and force and the other group of people are losing power and force and autonomy and neither one wins. It's just one has nightmares just on sheets with a higher thread count. I wrote that joke years ago and it's it holds true so well that when you have money, you have the same nightmares, you just wake up on sheets with a higher thread count. You know, being molested in the back of a Mercedes doesn't make it any less horrifying. That money doesn't really change anything. It just makes it so you can't blame money anymore. Like this guy, Donald Glover, is a multimillionaire. I, I've hung out with the guy before. He was a stand-up comic. It's like I know his vibe. It's just math. It's just um, business. Like Aziz Ansari, he's not like Aziz Ansari. He's probably, I, hear, I actually hear Glover's a good guy. I'm not putting him on the same level as that retarded bumblebee Aziz Ansari. Hey, 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 what's up, hey. 
This guy, though, he's nice. He's not like Aziz, but he has that vibe of like, what's like, what went, like, what, what wins? Like, what's the right answer? Like, what's, uh, how do I get, get ahead? It's not art. So I made this as the joke. Yeah, where is it? Because that move isn't that unique. So I, I have a picture of Justin Timberlake on his, uh, on his toes looking with a bow tie and says white. Then you have Michael Jackson doing the same move. It just says blackish. And then you have Donald Glover holding a gun to a man's head with the same move. And it just says black. Like to me, that follows a lot more order than his art because that makes sense. And that's funny. That see what I'm saying? But again, what what it was might be might be something I don't understand. Like Monet and some of those guys. Like some of these uh, visual artists, I I can't appreciate because I'm not a painter and I don't know what they did at the time. I just I just don't understand it. Like what rule they broke that became beautiful or what. They accomplished. Um, it's kind of like that one guy, Pollock. I never understood. I never understood the value of Pollock until I really researched Pollock. And apparently, if you take his paintings and you look at it like a fractal, like squares within squares within squares within squares, it's the same pattern repeating over and over again. And that's pretty amazing. And a lot of people don't even know how he did it. You know, it's like the pyramids. This was a great burn I saw. Communism is everyone being able to go to nice restaurants with no class, race, or gender barriers and nothing fucking else. And somebody said here, fixed it for you. This Evan Welsh on Twitter made me laugh. It said, communism is everyone, and then he crossed out a bunch of words. It just says, with nothing. I love that. Here's a little shot from yesterday. We all went on a walk, my family, and, and two of the dogs gave up. How you doing, Benny? How you doing, Walter and Sophie? How you doing, Amy and Honey and George? <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, I just want to show that. I like sharing that stuff sometimes. All right, let me get on the uh, on the live feed. Read some of these super chats, and then we're gonna write a we're gonna write a uh, we're gonna write a song together. I want to do a song, a love song between. Western journalists and Hamas. Write one about Shapiro and call it Hebrew Hammer. It's like... Hebrew Hammer, birch gold, birch gold, bow and branch. My wife's a doctor. Uh, PatriotSupply.com, 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 my wife's a doctor. Thomas Lee, hey Owen, you're my hero right now. Here's some money towards the camera. Can I be Budweiser Bear? Yeah, dude, Budweiser Bear's a great name. Thanks, bud. That's really generous. Can you verify me as Yager Bear? Welcome, Yager Bear. Hold me, man. I don't know what that means, but it's pretty funny. Appreciate you all and your streams have been helping me to get me out of a dark place. Is there a Dragon Slayer Bear yet? If not, I hope to claim it. Welcome, Dragon Slayer Bear. But go to uh, the little thing I have in the corner here, unbearablesapp.com. We're going to start recording all the bear names. And, and your name in the chat will be your bear name. And that's fun. It, it, I think one of the things that makes the bear thing really fun is people can have more honest conversations with um, archetypes. Because a lot of people just have these lives where, you know, if you're straight, what male? Everyone's fucking mad at you. You just can't really t say what you believe without people freaking out. So it's 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 a it's a fun exercise to uh to be able to speak honestly. Ashley, hey Big Bear, love catching the streams in the morning before work. Could you possibly play the song "Boston" by Augustana? It's mostly piano, so I think it would be good. Much love, Ashley Hose Bear. Uh, I don't know that one. Sorry. And, and just from the, my past experience, if I spend a bunch of time trying to learn it right now, uh, it'll, it, it just isn't effective. But I appreciate that. Atlas, I had my last final of the last semester at City College yesterday, so this is the first non-Saturday stream 
I've been able to catch. Gotta be verified as Atlas Bear. Cheers. Welcome, Atlas Bear, and cheers. Hey, Owen. Thank you for verifying me as Panda Bear yesterday. I'm excited to join this community. Even as a liberal atheist, I think you guys rock and your perspectives and values are badly needed. Sweet. Did you like the uh, Did you like the uh, joke I did about Panda Bears yesterday? Because if not, I'll, I'll, play it. I'll play it again right now. This is, uh, this is how I feel about pandas. I mean, I appreciate that. But let's... Uh, I'm going to show you something about pandas. Dude, fuck pandas. Fuck all of them. Dude, pandas won't fuck to save themselves. It's time for them to go. You set them up nice. You set them up nice. So like, time for you guys to breathe. And they're like, where's Chai? Are you guys hungry? They're like, only bamboo. It's like, no, but we have all this other food. They're like, bamboo. Like, no, it's not bamboo, they're like, only bamboo. It's like, do you know how much tax money we're paying to keep you guys going just so you fuck and eat? And they're like, we don't feel like it. That's when I just come in, <laughs> just gut him, eat him, gut him. He's gone. I don't need a panda bear, they got dumb heads. And they're lazy as fuck. They sleep 20 hours a day, only eat bamboo, and won't fuck. Why do you want that? Why would you want that? No one wants that. Let him die. Dude, I like black bears. I live near a lot of black bears. They'll go through my garbage. Stayed a lot, baby. I respect it. I high five them sometimes. They're like, fuck yeah. I'm like, you go, baby. You get that honey. You know what I mean? The polar bears are just up there drinking Coca-Cola. Just... Good times. All right. A couple more, couple more PayPals and then, uh, or Super Chats. And then let's write a song together. I'm gonna open my door, it's wicked warm in here. Which is a good thing, because it was a cold, dark winter. It was a cold winter this year. Hey Owen, uh, oh thanks Daniel. Owen, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard on the Bear phone. They're 20 bucks, so go get one. That's a great call. Hey Owen, can I be verified as two bear arms? Welcome to bear arms. Wake up and dose cleric. Soon all art will be classified as EC10 and will be destroyed. It's cowboy. Check out Equilibrium and analyze it. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I'll screenshot that. I don't understand what any of that means, but it sounds pretty, pretty intense. I've missed you, dude, from FIP. Or FIP. Also, I've got some horror stories about high school propaganda if you want to talk. Either way, you're a legend. Yeah, I'd loved, I love stories about propaganda. Thanks. Thank you to Coder Bear and Bear App developers. Keep up the great work, Big Bear. Yeah, isn't it? unbelievable this app it's just crazy that this was made i'm gonna say thanks coder bear boom and who wrote that it's big bear two bear arms is in feral bear is in arrow bear blaze bear ms cunty bear hilarious networking bear it's it's so fucking funny to me because it's so fun but so random we're a bunch of bears. That's so fucking hilarious. I've been called Big Bear so long, too. That's the funniest part. It's, to me, it's just second nature. But sometimes I have to remember that like some people don't know. That they're just like, what's up with the bear thing? I'm like, well, do you want to be questioning bear? <laughs> I think I'm just crazy. All right, here we go. Where was I? Yeah, so I'll be on Crowder later. It'll be a fun, it'll be a real fun one. Big Bear, I believe, uh, I believe that art is like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder. It's finally raining for the first time this spring on our farm, so I'm able to watch Keep the Joy, Crush the Soy, No Deck Bear. Oh, I love it, buddy. Rain's my favorite weather. My sisters and Marx help me, please. What do I do? Ah, just take the soy off her plate. Just hide the soy. Justin, I really appreciate the advice. I started speaking my mind about issues honestly. Some people called me racist and stuff, but I've had some good conversations with others. Thanks, Big Bear. You're not racist. Racist is a, is a that whole thing is a scam. It's such a scam. It's brilliant. It's brilliant in its effectiveness. Where you can't, when, when, when facts are seen as hate, you're fucked. 
you have to believe in yourself enough to know if you are actually a, a, a bigoted person. And a lot of you, I don't think you have enough confidence to know you're not. Where you just repeat what people tell you. It's bullshit. Dude, people are now saying Kanye West hates black people. You understand how fucking stupid that is? I can't believe how broken people have become where they they just accept that. They're like, oh, Kanye hates black people. It's like, what? Penultimate law exam done this term. Can I be British Bear? Well, hello, British Bear. Welcome. My name is Chris Martin. I'm like Eeyore. I get sad sometimes. England had a very powerful navy. We ruled the world once. It's all gone. This is America is about the loss of culture. An old guitar is playing alone, but once he is shot, the music changes to trap and everyone appears. The same happens to the twer- church choir, Jurassic Bear. This is America is about the loss of culture. An old guitar is playing alone, but once he is shot, the music changes to trap and everyone appears. See, that's an interpretation I never would have thought of. That's why it's good art exists, because people just... And sometimes that random nature of uh, This Is America and all the contradictions are effective in communicating ideas. Because people be like, oh, it's about, you know, the white man. It's like, yeah, but it's a black guy shooting everyone. Donald Glover's black. So you want to deal with that fact? He might be a fucking genius, for all I know. I just don't like seeing... People with shit on their head executed in any context. I just think it's really creepy to, to watch. Uh, Utopia's imagined Shangri-La never happened. Dystopia is what is real. Facts don't care about how you feel. It's true. Bare lives matter. Couldn't have said it better, Kev. And then the last super chat for now is, um, it's where I get to catch a live stream with my work schedule. The last three days, though, I've been stuck in a boat doing some surveying on the Calcasieu River in Louisiana. Would love to claim Survey Bear, if that's okay. Welcome, Survey Bear. And join the app, unbearablesapp.com. I see Blaze Bear. I see Arrow Bear. I see Knucklehead Bear. I see Digital Bear. Boss Squatch Bear. Durham Bear. This is so sick. It's like Fool Man Bear. Blue Sky Bear. This is so cool. Tiny House Bear. What if you move? What if you move into a bigger house? That's pretty. That's a pretty funny concept. All right, let's write a song. I'm going to go on the normal chat. Oh, oh, this is from Coder Bear real quick. I wasn't sure we could handle the traffic, but we broke tri- triple digits uh, and still going strong. You're the man, Big Bear. It's the most gratifying to see everyone enjoying and exciting about the app. Even in such an early stage of development process, much love to the Bears, Coder Bear. Yeah, like right now there's a few hundred in the chat and it's handling it. I feel like we're one of those submarines going into the deep. It's like, Coppin, I don't know if the pressure can handle it. It's in, in Coder, in Coder Bear's like, she can handle it. And I'm just there like, fuck yeah, she'll handle it. Just keep going. And everyone's like, but you're just a comedian bear. You don't know anything about what can happen in the deep. And I'm like, what's the worst that can happen? We die. Someone calls this racist. And then a squid comes up and it's like, you're racist. This is from Dustin. By the way, I really appreciate these, uh, these tips. Sparky Bear here. I'm a bit of a predicament with my parents. I'm 24 and live on my own. I work as a janitor and I'm, and am financially independent. I come from a strict military household where my whole life has been their way or the highway. And being that I love and respect my parents very much, I always have gone with the program. The problem is, that I'm two years into a degree that I have done enough of to know that it isn't for me. They are pressuring me to continue on this path and I feel as if I can't communicate with them as deviation from the path is considered giving up and complacency to being a janitor for the rest of my life in their eyes. I'm considering their options. I'm not complacent with my stature in life, though I don't mind nor look down upon physical labor. I was a janitor for a while. It's not a bad gig. Any advice for how I should navigate these waters with them? I'm almost certain that it will be very damaging to our relationship if I tell them I'm considering the military or trade school. The impeding conversation I've been avoiding as I've stopped answering their daily calls, asking if I've registered for classes yet, has been weighing heavy on my mind. It might be silly for a 24-year-old financially uh, independent, non-Asian to be concerned with their parents' wishes, but it's just the way I've always been. All advice appreciated. All right, I got some advice for you. 
you got to have the conversation with your parents because just look at the options you have. You either ignore it and slowly drift away and slowly stop returning their calls and talking to them and become more secretive and more fly off the handle or just not respond. And that's not an option. You'll lose your parents that way for sure. If you go to school, you will end up resenting them and resenting your own life and regretting. You'll, You'll have regrets. The best and only option is tell your parents that you don't want to go to school and that you want to go to trade school or the military because that's your path and that they have to respect that. And let them be mad at you. Let them say you're ruining your life. Let them say, oh, you're going to be a janitor the rest of your life. And and just look at them and say, that's okay. I don't believe I am ruining my life. And I love you guys. And I really hope that I you stay in my life. And I was nervous to even say this. And I didn't want to let you down. And I wanted to follow the path you, you laid out for me. But the path... The path your parents lay out for you eventually has to become your path or else they're not, they didn't do their job properly. Say I'm 24, I'm financially independent, I'm not Asian. (laughs) But seriously, be like, the rules are great when you're 16, 10, even three, even up to 18, 19 even. When you're 24, it's like, that's an age where you're, you're, I'm guessing your dad may end up respecting you more if you do your own thing. Because that's what every dad wants in the end is is for his son to stand up to him and say, "No, dad, I want I am my own man." That's the that's when your dad really knows he did a good job. And your parents are parents can't help it but make decisions for the, for their kids, you know? I was we were, I was talking about that with Amy yesterday. I'm like, "I how am I not going to be one of those super protective dads? Like I see him and I want to keep him safe and keep people from hurting him. And, um, and Amy was like, I think about that too, but we just always have to remember that that will hurt him if we do that. And that you have to suck it up and let your kid make mistakes and learn and be his own man, because that's, that's part of being a parent. And if you're, if your dad doesn't understand that he will, because it sounds like he's a good guy. He raised a, a good guy. You seem like you're really working hard. You don't look down on, on the janitorial profession, but at the same time, you want to do something else. That's a really cool sign. You care what he thinks. You respect that he gave you rules. These are all signs that they did a good job. So why not expect that they will understand that you are your own man and you know what's best for you more than anyone else? Okay. I hope that helps. Oh, and I have to read a couple that people did over the night. I try not to miss miss too many. This one made me laugh out loud. Hang on, where is it? I hope I get this one. Oh, is this the one? I hope I get this one in quick, uh, but I noticed listening to Lefty Podcast, two college-educated Kanye fans We're losing their minds after Kanye said good things about the bad people. Literally their words. Good things about the bad people. Think about that. That, That's where your dad wants you to go, by the way. College with these people. College is not good right now. And your dad may not know that. There's a good chance that your dad is still from the generation and from the mindset that college is means it's a step up in, in life and frankly I don't think any kid should go to college unless they know exactly what they want and it's in like a like a very specific field, but college is an indoctrination camp. It's horrifying these days. Um, One of them asked the other, do we support Kanye's new music? So he drops his new whatever. And the other responds, I'm just going to Napster it or whatever the way, the new way to listen to shit without paying for it. Total fucking socialist shit. Oh, I know. They're horrible people, guys. There's a reason I threw away my Hollywood career to fight these people. They're awful. Hopefully this finds you well. Can I be verified as Voodoo Lady Bear? Welcome. I'm a tattoo artist out of Akron. I appreciate your unique voice in the bear community. Get the word out. I do discounts for bears and veterans. Clean your room and pick your hill. Love to you and yours. Awesome. Discounts, tattoos. Gotta get some bear tats. Hey Owen, thanks for the live chats. For someone who isn't much of a joiner, I would be proud to call myself a bear. Can I be 
Josh Uber. Josh Uber. Welcome, Josh Uber. Okay, this one made me. Was it this one the one that made me laugh super hard? There's a few. All right, what's this? Here's a seed. Please, please make it grow. Thank you, Mr. Firm Buns. As you can see behind me, I'm at a undisclosed location where that appears to be a herd of sheep. However, appearances can be deceiving. This apparent herd is actually a top secret FBI tool used to capture Islamic extremists. It's hilarious. These sheep are in reality a herd of autonomous AI robots that simulate sheep but have inside a Chinese finger trap to capture the Islamic extremists while they engage in their heritage tradition. This has to be an Unbearable News Network. Please send this in to unbearablenewsnetwork.com. House Democrats have been said to denounce this ploy by the FBI as it is cultural appropriation at its worst. That's hysterical. Watched your stream with Dave Smith and loved it so much I had to feed the bear some honey. I listened to Part of the Problem religiously and hope you two continue to collaborate. I've been writing an unbearable news network under Friendly Bear and I'm having a great time doing so. Can't remember if you ever officially verified me on the live stream, so just want to make sure I'm legit. Take care. Welcome, Friendly Bear. Okay, this one. Was this the one? Ah, dude. There's one that was... Fucking made me... Oh, I might have downloaded it. Oh, and can you play Lazarus by Porcupine Tree? The piano and the song is fire. If you can't right now, please screenshot and do later. Because I really think you would like that song. Also, I'm currently writing more. Oh, it's the end that made me die laughing. <clears throat> also, I'm currently writing an autobiography about myself. That's already funny if you know what the word autobiography means. It's mainly about how I was gay, but now I'm straight. It's a real fags to bitches story. Okay, this person knows how much I love puns. I mean, that, that made me, that was amazing. Oh, dude, a Twitter group is uh, offering a $100,000 prize to whoever blows up the embassy in Jerusalem. And they aren't being censored. Man, this, this weird hatred of Jews that have popped up. I actually called it a long time ago. It's because of the... Uh, if you think that everything is because of racism, Jews always end up getting fucked. Like if you think that there isn't as many black neurosurgeons or whatever, or Nobel prize winners, uh, it's because everyone hates black people and not because like some people just have like tendencies to be better at certain shit. Like if you don't acknowledge that there are statistical very like tendencies, like Jews are fucking wicked smart. So if you start seeing it that way, that means everything the Jews have is because they're oppressive. That's insane. That's such shit. It's been really bothering me lately. That's why I'm going to do a song on Crowder today about like watching how they depict Palestinian Hamas shit in the news. Don't get me wrong. You can think that there like a few specific Jews can be real sneaky and tricky. I get it. I've been there. You know, I've bought gold off people. I'm just kidding. The only time, uh, the, the, the gold I would buy off someone is my boy Joe, who owns a, a, a pawn shop in San Antonio. He came to uh, the show in Minneapolis. He actually set it up and he just brought all this gold. And he's like, how much gold do you want to buy? I'm like, fuck, dude. I didn't know. I'm like, can I get like 500 bucks worth? He's like, I don't even know how I do that. I'm like, fuck, dude. He's just got all this gold. Uh, Non-Jewish, too. Yeah. Indians also get real into gold. People in India, they save gold and silver like crazy. And then people are like, oh, well, mock Israel, mock Jews. I'm like, I do all the time. I literally will open with making fun of how Ben Shapiro does his ad pitches. I'm not going to mock just being Jewish. Want to know what it is sometimes? Sometimes when people want you to mock shit, it's almost like they want you to have hate in your voice. Where it's like, oh, mock the Jews then. I'm like, I do all the time. The reason that you're not satisfied with it is because I don't hate them. Like, I'll do funny Jewish jokes that, it, that Jews would laugh at. Just like I do funny black jokes that most blacks would laugh at unless they're socialists. Uh, because like when I'm making fun of a demographic, I don't hate them. And so when people are like, yeah, do a Jew joke about like how they fucking designed the fall of the West. I'm like, you think that's a good joke premise? 
So weird. And so then you see Hamas and all these people. They're literally saying, we won't stop till we kill all the Jews. And the Western media is like, that's not what they mean. They mean that they just want everyone to live together in harmony. And they're like, no, we don't. No harmony. Death to all Jews. They're like, what he really means is... What he really means is they just want to live in peace in Israel. And it's like, no, we do not want peace. We want burn the Jew. And it's like, Israel is, is killing these poor babies. It's like, no, we killed the baby. We want picture on CNN. What, the, what they mean is, yeah, Metal Smith Bear. It's racist to not take Hamas at their word. Exactly. When they're literally like, all they want, hey, I want more shekels at the Bear Jew. Well, the shekel, I wanted to do a, a shekel sketch. Okay, here's one that, that is blatantly making fun of shit that has to do with Jews. Uh, but it isn't just insane. I like, every, like, sometimes I've said shit like this where I've defended Israel in certain situations and, uh, and people call me a shill. And they're like, oh yeah, you're a shill for Jews. And I'm like, what does that, uh, what does that entail exactly? And it's like, you get paid off by the Jews. It's like, how, like PayPal? Or do they give me like a bag of gold? So I wanted to do a, a sketch where I, I go door to door to my Jewish friends. And I'm like, hey man, so uh, I publicly fucking supported Jews. And they're like, and the amount of Jew hate over there on JF stream is out of control. Who's JF? Uh, a lot of the Islamic frustration with not being taken seriously by the West is due to the media putting words in their mouth. Oh, I know. It's hilarious. Stop telling people about the gold I give you. I will stop. Bear Jew, I'm telling people. So you go, you go to the, like, you go to the Jews and you're like, hey, so, um, you know how I've been kind of friendly about the whole Israel thing, even though Netanyahu sounds like a fucking used car dealer? And they're like, yeah, we really appreciate it. It's like, well, it turns out uh, you guys pay for it. So why have I been doing it for free? And it's like, well, what do you mean? It's like, you know what I mean. I want some damn shekels. Uh, Jew love is cool. Jew hate, not so much. Well, you can hate a Jewish person. You're like, this is the thing. You can hate the Fed that has, like, Jews running it. That isn't about being a Jew. It's about uh, being corrupt. I think some real scary people in this world, some of them are like these atheist self-hating Jews. Those are the ones that are a little fucking troubling. The ones that like hate themselves and any moral code and just want to kind of see the world burn. Those guys are a little fucking... Um, you know, saying you love a certain group is just as racist and weird to me. Totally. To but you can say you feel more comfortable around certain uh, cultures. There is certain cultures. One of the reasons I think I feel comfortable around Jews is because they get jokes. Hang on. Th that is censorship while wow, you are a terrible moderator. Who the fuck are you guys talking to? I hate Jews because I am a virgin. I don't get it. All right, let's, let's write a song together. Um, Bernie is a Jew and he's the enemy. Just saying Sanders is such an evil cock and so many think he's so great. He's the worst, but that's because he's a socialist and he's self-hating that you see what I'm saying. It's like, you have to judge people by, by who they are. You know, there's horrifying white people. That doesn't mean you can hate white people. Clarifying where in Florida are you going to be? Because on your website says Tampa. And last week I got an email from you that you may be going to West Palm, just checking to make sure if I can see you live. I'm having a really hard time getting booked in Tampa. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, venues aren't willing to sign my no cancellation clause. So I'm, I'm figuring it out. All right, police were still searching for a motive after that Boston bomber literally wrote, we did it for Islam. Oh, I know, that's what we should write a song about. Okay, so let's write a song right now. It's a, it's a love letter between Western media and Hamas. So it's going to be like, Here at New York Times, we just want to say, The 
Palestinians only want uh, peace and to pray. I don't know. And then it's like, and Israel is attacking them for no reason. They want peace. Sincerely, the media. Dear media, we want to kill every single Jew in the world. We won't stop till every single Jew is dead. <clears throat> what he means is that he just wants peace and to live side by side. No, that's not what we mean. We want a bullet inside every Jew alive. Every Jew alive. And then New York Times, uh, and then, uh, Right, we gotta stop. Uh, let's, let's let people write. Right. Uh, let's stop censoring quite as many people. I think some of the people that are writing somewhat dark shit are actually uh, writing funny things. Maybe I don't know. You guys might know uh, more than me. I called him a yeti, and you got butt hurt, dude. Who the fuck are you talking about? Who's a yeti? I don't think. Let's let's just all like whenever you talk about shit like this, uh, people get real weird. Which is why I know it's exactly what needs to be mocked. Can you sing Let It Be, change it to Let It Bear? Yeah. Focus people at songwriting time. Thank you, Coddington. It, there might be too many people, honestly, but that's okay. We can still figure it out. Okay, people, let's not fight. Yeah, let's not fight. He was calling you a Yeti. I don't care. It's funny if you call me a Yeti. I honestly, you can call me any... It, it's the shit that I want censored is when it's obvious robot trolls or, or um, people trying to just ruin, ruin it for everyone. Like people just saying socialism's never been tried or um, Owen hates all blacks or some shit. You know, just, just shit that's just obviously noise nonsense. Someone can call me a Yeti. What does that mean? Like an ogre in the forest or some shit? That's funny. Like all that shit, um, I welcome. As long as someone's intention is to be funny. And, uh, the only people I really want booted are the ones that are, um, like paid trolls or robots trying to, trying to, uh, sidetrack the whole chat. Other than that, you know, didn't we write some funny Islam songs a few months back? We did. But this one is, uh, specific to, uh, to what's going on in the news. Yeah, this shit's goofy. Give AI Snow a break. I just got censored. Yeah, it's all good. I deleted racist shit towards Eric. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always do that. Because there's some real fucked up stuff happening towards Eric. Like, there was these... The small group of bears that have just totally lost their mind and they just are going at Eric because they're just fucking crazy. Those guys should get no platform ever in our vibe. They're, they've, like, legit went nuts. You know, like, saying that they're glad he has cancer and shit. It's like... Ugh. I can't imagine they're not bears. No, of course not. They're they're some of the grossest people I've ever seen. Yeah, they're like saying that that he that uh he they're glad he has cancer. It's like there's no coming back from that. Like once someone says shit like that about people I care about, it's like there's absolutely no recovering. And I saw one of them was like tweeting to everybody on Twitter that used to come at me saying that they have like information about like how we're bad people. I'm like Oh, I, I don't even get angry. I, I just am like, man, they've lost their fucking minds. And a, and a few of them were like writing to me like, no, you have to see this. You have to, you just have to know, Big Bear. You have to see it. And I'm like, you're never going to be in my group again, ever. It's just like, you'll never hear from me again. And one of them I gave money to. Another one I let like, help people with shit. I gave them encouragement. I, you know, it's just so that like, these are some of the people I was talking about when I was explaining why sometimes I really have to vet people that I'm close with or, um, try to help is because, I mean, I gave one of them money and I'd never even met him just cause he needed it. It's like, and then he, he tries to destroy my friend's career because he's envious and a, just a jealous little cuck bitch. 
And um, there's no there's no reasoning with these people. There's no like, you can't talk it out. That's all you do is just just never, ever look at them or talk to them ever again. And let them just spiral out. Just let them fucking come up with all their little theories and their game plans. And no one cares. No one listens. Want to know what people like good shit? Why do you think there's 761 people here right now just hanging? Another 10,000 to watch. Another 80,000 to listen. It's not because there's something special about me. It's because it's fun. It's entertaining. It's uh, thought provoking. It's not just a small group of sad, angry, little, weak, pathetic men trying to take down real friendships, real talent, overcoming real obstacles because they're impotent in their own lives. They can't get love or accomplishments. They have nothing to lose. So they want to hurt that which wins. And I saw that. I saw people coming at Eric like that. And it, I mean, this is a war vet who's missing all his teeth from fucking shrapnel, who's battling cancer, crushes on stage, had my back when a lot of motherfuckers didn't, and is a really good person. And just to see how there's sick human beings that just want to hurt good. And when people, I say God damn and Jesus Christ and stuff like that, that's not taking the Lord in vain. That's not what, it, that's not what that means to me. That to me is just a curse word. It's just whatever. To me, taking the Lord's name in vain is people saying that they're godly people or religious people or Christian people and they hurt that which is good. And they don't turn the other cheek. They don't forgive. They don't learn. They don't do anything that is taught in the Bible. They, they sit in their, their dirty, smelly little rooms and they look in their little laptops and they, they plot and scheme and they say, oh, cancer doesn't uh, kill fast enough. And then they go on my Vimeo page and start slandering Eric that he makes women uncomfortable in Chicago. I was with him the whole time in Chicago. That motherfucker doesn't make anyone uncomfortable. He makes everyone feel very, very comfortable. We hung out every night with another Marine telling stories. We hung out with Q from the Impractical Jokers and Jesse from um, the show House in Chicago uh, Fire. Just having beers and laughing and talking. And this motherfucker, these motherfuckers are just slandering, just like how the left does, just that satanic Achilles heel of good men where, oh, he makes women uncomfortable. Shut the fuck up, man. You know, this one, one of these motherfuckers was just like, dude, we'll, we'll, we'll come at you, man. You don't think that we, we know what we're doing? That we I'm like, you're done to me. And then you see that no one cares. They'll tweet and tweet and tweet. It's like two faves, three faves. No one even sees the shit. They're tweeting at people that I had like fairly um, uh, notorious fights with on Twitter to try and get them to, to, to talk to them about how, you know, we're really the bad guys. They don't even see your tweets because you're so small and insignificant. You're so small and sad. The reason they fought with me is because I'm a great man. And great, I don't mean necessarily like fully good. I'm just big, big amplitude. Like I'm registered. Like people hear what I say. And then they react. It's you, you can, you're like a gnat. You're like little gnats flying at a fucking elephant. Nothing. Uh, not so good veteran bear. What are you guys saying? Don't let them kill the vibe, Big Bear. Oh, it's all good. Big Bear spirals. It's fine. I do almost every stream. Um, Never makes me uncomfortable because he's black, says the Bear Jew. Well, you make everyone uncomfortable because your people did 9-11. So there's that. Never, why'd you have to make those women uncomfortable like that? No, it's, I want to know what it is. It's emasculated men. It's emasculated men. Emasculated men. I remember this used to happen to me when I was a uh, single comic a lot. Like I would, um, I would, uh, do a show and an insecure guy because back when I didn't have a family or anything and I do a show, it, I wouldn't talk about how, uh, how I have a wife and kid and all that stuff that makes people feel very comfortable, which I'm very happy with. But back in the day I would do jokes about orgasms, you know, like how men and women have different, you know, like one of my female friends, uh, was, was like, my boyfriend finally gave me an orgasm 
And I'm like, you guys have been dating two years. What took so long? She's like, you found my spot. And then like a dove flew out of her mouth and Coldplay started playing. It was like. And I'm like, it's so much different finding a, a man's spot than a woman's spot. Where's a man's spot? His entire dick. The whole thing's a spot. You could yell at a spot, will come out of fear. Women are tricky and they're all different. Like trying to figure out how to make your girlfriend have an orgasm is a lot like trying to crack a Nintendo code where you're like up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, B, A, B, A, select, start. No, not right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Not. <sighs> up, down, left, you know. So jokes like that, which, are, which will make women laugh really hard, but there's a sexual nature to it. And so you would just see these guys. And most of the time, like, like men and women in a good relationship will laugh together hard. But like men that are emasculated or feel small or feel like they don't, aren't a real man would get angry. And you'd see them turn. And the harder the girl would laugh, the more they would, uh, they would get mad. And I remember seeing that. And I saw that with these kids, these, these, these people that, that now hate Eric. They saw a guy killing on stage. They saw a guy, you know, they probably in the back of their head, they're like, ah, oh, that big black cock of his. I bet he's got a fucking hammer on him. Unlike my little fucking nothing cock. And, uh, you know, the way I revere Eric you know, the way I give Eric attention, the way Eric is rising uh, quickly and people really like Eric. And so then they just get angry. That's Cain and Abel, baby. That's one of the best stories to understand human nature on the fucking planet. It's like you have an ideal and you have a choice. You either become more of an ideal or you kill your ideal. And right now they're attempting to kill their ideal. And it's in this pussy fucking secretive shitty passive aggressive way and they got to understand that most men don't react well to that if you go up to an like an actual man and say like i have a dossier of uh tweets that you will find <laughs> troubling about your friend and what i like most men are like get 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 out of here get the fuck out of here because any man would be like i'm not gonna be friends with this guy this guy's a little bitch this guy acts like a like a like a like a fucking menstruating donkey it's just like, what the fuck is that? Like, that's why we, we hang. Like, that's what the left does. It's literally just like, oh, well, look at this out of context clip of him saying something mean after a five hour stream of arguing. It's like, dude, fix something, work, make something cool. Like, sh we're dying. <laughs> you fucking fags. All right, so let's write this song. Um, all right, we can do anything we want about the Middle East situation or North Korea. I'm now in the normal chat area. What do you guys want to talk about? I have no idea who's even talking about. Never even came across my radar. I know, and that, I was never going to talk about it uh, because it's just, you don't feed the fire. You engage to enrage, you know? I, I, I get all that, but like these motherfuckers were, were just slamming them on Vimeo. And I'm like... And enough people have asked me about, about it that I, I really just wanted to, um, just once and for all, just kind of explain the situation. And it's not even anything. It's like gnats. Just, it's just, oh, oh, it's a gnat. And if someone is, uh, is willing to, uh, is to bash someone that I'm clearly that close to, they don't respect me. You know, it's one thing if somebody is like, Hey man, I got to talk to you. But if someone's just publicly slandering someone that I clearly care about, I know for a fact they don't respect me, you know? All right. So let's write. I don't know if we can write anything together. Oh, Kim Jong song. That could be good. There's just so many people here. That's what I've been saying the whole time. Attacking Eric is attacking Owen. Well, it's also wrong. It's one thing if I had a friend that was legitimately doing crazy shit, which I have, and I get that. But whatever. It, it, it literally doesn't matter. Emasculation song. That's a funny idea. I just want to do something that's current events. If you ignore the trolls, they starve and leave. That's true, but it also can cost you money. This is one of the reasons that I uh, addressed it as well is because we're selling Eric's special. This isn't about ego. We're selling the special. So it's like when you have just three people just slandering him underneath where we're selling the special. Don't worry. I... I fixed it, but that costs us fucking money. 
You know, th the fact that they are constantly reporting these as hate speech and all that shit, that costs me money. So it's not just fucking uh, ego. It's like, bitch, I might sue you. You know, because it, it's slander. It's straight up slander. Yeah, the special is awesome. Thanks, Dakota Drifter. Um, all right, Hawaii exploding. No, it has to be like, I was just talking to Crowder about it. We want to do something about the Middle East or North Korea. Uh, Holiday wrote, special is awesome, right? How Kim was supposed to be an incel. I don't know what that means. Kim Jong gone. Kim Jong un is pregnant. A song about the cripples and the border suddenly get healed. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Maybe something on the axis of something. Cigar Bear here. I just bought an Eric special. Awesome, buddy. Do a song taking the side of, of Palestine. It's like, Palestine just wants to breathe. Well, let's just start writing. If I start writing it, uh, Palestine just wants to be free and live next to the Jews. Uh, what would Shay say? There's your sweet Palestine, sweet Palestine, bomb, bomb, bomb. Ben, Sh ben Shapiro, he's been Kim Jong Un so long. He's been Kim Jong Un so long. Now I gotta stay focused. We'll just we'll just drown here if if we don't stand one thing. Soros helping Nazis in Palestine, a life of betrayal. That's true. And I don't even have like this thing where I want to make fun of. Um, I I try not to touch the Middle East because it's such a a hotbed of nonsense, but um, that's kind of like why I want to in a way, because it's clearly a hotbed of nonsense. Write a whole hack set and perform it as Jezelnik. That's pretty funny. Sweet Palestine like sweet child of mine. So it's... Uh, um, Palestine just wants to be free and live next to the Jews. And Western media just doesn't know. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 and what? Sweet. It's like, oh, um, oh, sweet Palestine. When they try to break into the border with bombs and broken glass, those are gifts. For Israel, why did they overreact? Okay, there we go. Bergy, where, where are you leaving? When they, sweet Palestine, bum bum bum. No, we're gonna do it to fucking sweet child of mine. Uh, bombs and broken glass. All right. Uh, when they, when they try to break through the border with. Um, uh, bombs and broken glass. I don't have a G. No, we need you, Bear Jew. Dude, we're writing a song about fucking Jews right now. You're one of our go-to Jews. Broken glass. Oh, and I might not leave up this video, too, because I, sometimes I don't want to, uh... I don't want to reveal the song before I play it live. Man. With bombs and broken glass. Um, they just wanted to give them as presents. Why did it Israelis overreact? overreact? Um... Martyrs itching their noses from beyond the grave. For all you trolls and censor boys, I'm best left alone. Yeah, you tell them, Roy. Got to throw the word shekels in there somewhere. That's a good point. Now I'm a bear. It's, it's like a Jew 4th of July. All right, here we go. Now we're, now we're cooking. Uh, Hamas more like ham ass. I like it. I like where your head's at. When they try to break through the border with bombs and glass and raining mortar. I like it. Raining mortar. Uh, okay, mortar and border. That's a better rhyme. 
Flaming bottle of gas. We're not trying to stab them. We just know they like silver. <laughs> Kites with Molotov cocktail are just a sign of love. Oh, yeah. It's like they're Ben Franklin. Kites of fire from Palestinian Ben Franklin. Franklin. Um, if you run the media, why does the media hate Israel? Because it's, it's a, it's not the same. T that's what that's what I keep fucking trying to explain to people. That's why it, uh, things don't add up, because it's not, it's not the Jews aren't on the same fucking page. Like there's a bunch of them that like hate Jews and Israel and shit. It's it's hilarious. No, I'll be back on Vimeo tomorrow, Joshua. I just it, it just today it was crashing so hard. They tried to break through the border with Molotovs and glass, but we distracted them by showing them a goat's ass. Oh, that's great. Oh, and you know who that's from? Eric Nimmer. Because he's funny as fuck. All right. All right. The Jews run the Iran media. That's wicked funny. Israel is a geographic location that may as well be America. I don't even know. Maybe. I don't know what that means. Palestinians catching bullets with their foreheads by throwing pebbles over a fence. Uh, if I stay too long, I'd probably break down. Oh, yeah, yeah. They got a wall, and it seems to be put up to stop us from being free. We want to live in our holy land and expel the Jews because they're on our stand. Okay, I like where your head's at. I like this. I like this. Palestine are innocent. They just want their own nation. Don't hate just because they believe that Jews should engulf radiation. I, dude, that's the shit that I like. I used to do a character on stage called Undercompensating Russian Father, where it was like, um, <clears throat> I am sorry for leaving you when you are a little girl, but I have cupcake. I've always thought that was so funny when people just try to justify things with nonsense. Palestinians paying money to each person shot in the riots. No, that is true. I thought Hamas was dip made from chickpeas. That's a great line. That keeps it innocent. You got to keep, you got to always balance intensity with innocence. It's a big way to write humor, ladies and gentlemen. Never forget innocence. Oh, um, don't shoot. I'm handicapped. Take my rocks of love. Palestine is they just want their just wants to be free so they can live next to me. I can't understand why they wouldn't put the Nazi kite down. Dow wow. Little children on that goddamn border just want to be the martyr. <laughs> um I still don't see how two hundred dollars an incentive to get shot. Does that even cover medical bills? Oh, I mean they don't Authoritarian governments, there's not really a lot of like excitement to be alive. The media Jews are just playing the other side of the coin. At the end of the day, they're working in concert, I promise. I don't know. See, I like the, the phrase uh, that Dave Rubin says a lot, that very like huge, what is it? what's the what's the adverb? Um, Large claims need a large amount of evidence or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, people can just come up with whatever, the, like, fucking theory they have and then not have any fucking uh, evidence, and then it just doesn't mean anything. Just another day being misunderstood in the Middle East. We met, die, you Jewish motherfuckers, in the name of the religion of peace. That's fucking funny. It's just, okay, like, the reason there's no Jews or Christians in any of these fucking... Muslim countries is because they don't, they just kill them. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm pretty one-sided on this thing. Cause it's just like, these are the least tolerant cultures on the fucking planet. Just being like, the Israelis won't let us take what they have. It's like, dude, they're, the Israelis keep us, they keep us in a, in like an area. It's like, yeah, you would have just killed them all. Carl Sagan, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. Exactly. Palestine people aren't 
bad, they would just rather be shot than be in the Gaza Strip. Somehow mention the fact that Hassan is purposely making sure to make photos of tragedy for the UN. I tend to go with the side that doesn't want genocide. Good rule of thumb. That's hysterical. That's exactly what I think too. Whatever side isn't saying they want to end a race of people is usually the, the, the good side. Big Bear, good to have you back live. The situation in Israel seems like a smokescreen to get the media on another onto another subject. What do you think it is? Think of a pyramid in the banks or the eye. Right, but I know a lot of non-Jewish bankers with a ton of power and money. That doesn't really hold up to me in my life. Uh, there's a lot of uh, really, really, really old school, powerful money guys that are Christian as shit. And so... Uh, no, but even the power structure thing, it, it really doesn't hold up. I like the, a lot of the people that came here on the Mayflower have some of the most amount of power in the world, like their family lineage. And I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the fucking Mayflower steam. And don't get me wrong. I'll fucking go at Jews. If someone is being a dick, like I'm not like one of these, like Jews are off limits. It's just about power. The first page of the Quran basically casts Jews and Christians into hell. Uh, that's not a very nice book. The banks fund both sides of all wars. Right, but so did other groups. It wasn't... You no, know, I, I agree. I, I think the Rothsteins or whatever, Rothschilds or whatever the fuck their names are, there's been a ton of uh, interest where people fund both sides. But if you've invested in a lot of companies, everyone does that. It's called uh, uh, risk. It's minimizing risk. And dude, if, if you're against war, that means you're against uh, Boeing. So you want Boeing to close? Uh, do you want, like, there's so much interest in war that I start getting to the point where I'm like, no one has clean hands. So it's like, yeah, risk mitigation. Thank you, Ryan. <clears throat> and uh, I was watching that with the housing crisis when you had uh, some of these bankers in front of Congress and the, con and the retarded congressmen <clears throat> were like, we're like, so you bet against the very people you gave mortgages to. And, and the, the smart Jews were like, uh, yeah, obviously. And they're like, oh, so you were hoping they would fail. And they're like, no, do you not know how like money works? Birch gold. And it's like, you, you try like what you, you try and get money at 3%, lend it at 6%. That's how fucking banking works. It's not this like evil thing. It can become evil with states. The concert of banks and states can become this real fucked up. Um, what's that? Uh, is a good word for that? Uh, like codependence. A. Uh, it was it was in this book by Thoreau. A something relationship. It's almost like parasitic. It's evil according to the Old Testament. Yeah, that's interesting. But so is eating shellfish. Symbiotic relationship. Thank you, Water Bear and Coder Bear. Huge, huge crusher. I think it's when you have an army, like you have a, a monopoly on force like a state, and then you also have a bank capable of printing money like the Fed. You're running into a really, really bad combination. And uh, that's not about Judaism. It's about corruption. It's about uh, what can happen in societies. You know? Then again, many people get sick from shellfish. Yeah, but what about cheese and meat together? Huh? Huh? The fuck? They get shot and collect a check, but they are mad because they are promised more if they die. Then again, many people get sick from shellfish. Ever that one? Banks are just like pawn shops. I give you money and you don't pay. I keep your stuff. Right. What happens? This is why banks end up fucked up. It's when you have uh, the government backing banks. So let's say this is why the mortgage thing happened. Democrats want all the people of the world to all have everything they've ever desired. Right. So they say we want everyone to have a house, even if they don't even. Um, I just ran out of coffee, guys. 
Yeah. Okay. Listen, Jews are scary because they have money and blacks are scary because they don't. Interesting. Wow. That's an interesting way to put it. Okay. So it's like, they're like, everyone should be able to have a house. And people are like, well, these people don't have a down payment. And they're like, that's fine. Don't be racist. It's like, okay, they also have horrible credits. So what? And so then the banks are allowed to give these subprime mortgages where they can um, change the rate. And that was because of government policy. The free market wouldn't have allowed that to happen. But when the government steps in and says, we have an agenda that we want poor blacks to get houses when they can't afford them and shouldn't have them because the free market would fucking not allow this. The banks, a lot of them are publicly owned, so they have to increase, they have to make as much money as they can or else the CEO will be replaced. The, the, stock, the, st- the shareholders can literally sue them if they fucking intentionally don't make as much money as they can, right? So, so they then start giving out these shitty loans because the government has is, is, um, allowed them to do this. And so then when the loans crash and the government bails them out, it looks like the banks are just these um, sinister weapons of the devil when in reality the, the demonic state of it comes from uh, when you have the state with this fucking stupid non-free market agenda. Haves versus have-nots leave everyone in Norman's land a goner. I don't believe in haves and have-nots. I think many people can be haves and have-nots depending on what time in their life. If bankers can count, how come they have eight windows and only two tellers? That's really funny, Tom Bearclaw. Uh, talk about South Africa. All right. this uh, We're not going to be all right today. I realize that this is... Uh, this is someone with ADHD's worst nightmare, like the, the normal chat. That's why I like super chats, because they're more focused and they're, they're less like just random. That's all, this always happens. Whenever I go into the normal chats, I always start getting fucking angry at, at trolls, and I fucking freak out. I seriously can't go in there. Like that rant about those fucking stupid people, I shouldn't have even done. But it just happens when I see this shit. Uh, trolls are so bad. I know bankers never die. They just lose interest. That's enough. I love that pun, but we love you in here. I know, but I can't, I literally can't handle it. I get so distracted. I can't finish a thought. I just start getting fucking angry at people that deserve no attention whatsoever. And, uh, oh, Eric's got the first verse down. Sick. Yeah, but we are the bedrock of those populist demographics. Haven't moved in 500. Years. Dude, like, think about what the normal chat's like for me. It's like, all right, let's write a song. All Jews should die. Jews are the greatest. What about South Africa? I just got a pineapple. Look, I'm it's just like, it's, 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 it's almost like if you design the worst possible way for me to write. Uh, some people just need to look up. You can do a private stream and just put the link on Patreon. Oh, that's a good idea. What about South African Jews? Oh, Jesus. You need a vacation. I fucking do, man. I've been going like 14 hour days and lately I think the more I write back to people and the more connected I get to people, the more people get like pissed that I don't. It's really fucking interesting. And those like slanderous people have pissed me off quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. Because it's like when you give people shit and you like trying to help people and they, and they turn on you, it's just so much, uh, it's so much worse than if it's just a stranger. Snarks Bear, their parliament voted in Hamas, damn creeps. I PayPal'd you about public uh, for your book. Check it out. Thank you. Hamas is so misunderstood. They want what's best for the neighborhood. The women and children are so patriotic. They don't see blocking jihads as idiotic. All right. I'll, I like some of those words. Yeah, PayPal's where it's at, man. People, if, if you spend even just a small amount of money on a message, you just take more time with it and it's less random. Big Bear, good to have you back. The situation in Israel seems like a smoke screen. Oh, I read that one. We send our women and children to see the explosions and the jubilee from the front lines. Whoa, sweet Palestine. That's funny. And it's not even like I hate Palestinians per se. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. Like, who is a Palestinian? It's, that's what's very freeing about seeing the world as individuals and not as demographics because, uh, I mean, but I don't know. The, today's, today's fucking stream is a disaster. Palestine is a myth. 
All right, I got to get the fuck out of this chat. Uh, the Gaza Strip, isn't it, Owen? What the fuck are we talking about? An Arab that decided they wanted a title. That's interesting. One last time, Rothschilds bought Israel in the 1800s. Bought Israel in the 1800s. Okay, man. Oh, and why so triggered, says Jack Sparrow. Well, guess what? You're now gone. You're now gone. Put user in timeout. Bye. Why so triggered? Have you ever done a show in Winnipeg? Yes, I have. I've done a corporate event in Winnipeg. It was a blast. Yeah, let's land this fucking plane. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to write a song. It's a, it's a good problem to have, I guess. There's too many people. I think some people just enjoy saying crazy shit. Today's stream will not remain. This will be a stream that just doesn't stay up. Because it wasn't on Vimeo, it wasn't on all that shit. It was just a fucking disaster from start to finish. <sighs> fucking oh, sweet Palestine. All right, there's a couple more uh, super chats here. Matthew. Owen, I've been following you from platform to platform, and now I'm signing up for the Bear app. I've wanted to get verified for a while now, and now it's time. I would like to be verified as Bourbon Bear. I'm looking forward to joining the Bear community. I'm proud to be a supporter and never stop. Welcome, Bur Bourbon Bear. That's some good news that I, I, I needed after going into the, the swamp that is the fucking chat room. Not our app. I bet our app's sweet. It's just some of these YouTube guys. Holy fuck. It's like, think about it, bro. Think about it. Jews live near grass. Grass is eaten by cows. Cow is almost the same word as Mao. Mao killed 60 million people. Time to wake up. Time to wake up, bro. Like, literally, people think like that. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Annie, hey, Big Bear. I was able to purchase one of your flasks, but I didn't realize you didn't ship to us snow monkeys. Is there a way that you'd be able to ship it to me, plus my boyfriend? Uh, and I've been following you for a while. He'd like to be verified as Tree Bear, and I'd like to be Annie Bear. Keep fighting the good fight. Welcome, Tree Bear and Annie Bear. And yes, we, all, we will ship them to you. We... uh. I just filled out all the fucking forms to send them out of the country. So uh, if some of you snow monkeys slipped in, just like those dirty Palestinians. Sweet child parody. We've got a war and it seems to me reminds me of childhood fantasies where everything was a mushroom cloud in the sky. Wow, that's intense. I'm going to write that down. That's like profound. All right. Let me say bye to you people. I got five minutes left. This has actually been pretty fun. This has been fun. I've enjoyed it. Parody, the Jews just want to survive. Hamas just wants to sacrifice their wives. The rumors of my homosexuality are greatly exaggerated, says another random crazy person. Okay. Um, Dave Bray USA is being squashed on Facebook. Great music from a vet who fought for our freedom. Oh, did you write me about that? Dave, B-R-A-Y-U-S-A. -A. Check him out on Facebook. Someone was being censored on Facebook, and I was pissed about it yesterday. Oh, thanks, Tina. All right. Let's just play some... Uh... Let me just read what we have so far with some of this. But I fucking love that I have a dream part in the beginning. Maybe I'll just leave this up, even though this is just a train wreck. <sighs> Palestine is innocent, they just want their own nation. Don't hate just cause they want every Jew to be engulfed in radiation. I thought Hamas was a dip made from a lot of chickpeas. Um, and it turns out all the Palestinians view Jews as a disease. Oh, sweet Palestine. Oh, sweet Palestine. How 
Hamas is misunderstood. They just want what's best for their neighborhood. The women and children are so patriotic that they kill them all. <laughs> we send our women and children to see the explosion and the jubilee from the front lines in Palestine. to stop us from being free uh, but in reality they're stopping us from blowing their heads off they tried to break through the border with mortars and molotovs broken glass but got distracted when we showed them a very fertile goat's ass Oh, sweet Palestine Oh, 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 sweet Palestine That's it for me. Uh, I'm going to leave it up. This actually turned out to be pretty hilarious. We, we got a great song out of this thing. So did you guys like that one? Everything sounds better with a kazoo. Thank you. Good night. I'm not going to be able to write a song five minutes later. That's a good point. Stoney never looks so good. That's hilarious. Um, dude, leave it up. Leave it up. Yes, leave it up. All right, sweet. Yeah, stand up. Stand up. Thanks for having my back, everybody. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I spiraled a little earlier. Fuck those people. Um, one of my favorite streams, says Oliver. I like that name. All right. Bye, everybody. Hey, bears. <laughs> Smell you later. Ha, 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 ha.